Nella ricerca permanente di Electric Motor News di trovare delle persone che si occupano di veicoli ecologici e di mobilità alternativa, noi siamo arrivati fino a Lucerna in Svizzera perché abbiamo trovato il signor Louis Palmer. Ciao. Ciao. Hello. Um, uh, he is uh, not research, you told me. He is uh, not engineer, but you told me that you are uh, you work for the climate, for global warming and for problems of nature. Mm -hmm. Explain me which is your project because it's very interesting. I uh, le ho chiesto che le ho detto che lui non è ingegnere, come lui ci aveva accennato, che è soltanto ricercatore e che eh, sta cercando eh, di eh, fare un progetto importante per eh, i problemi di inquinamento. Adesso ci spiega come. I want to be the first person in the world who is uh, traveling around the world with a solar powered car, with a car which is really powered by renewable energy. And I would like to search and look for solutions against global warming all over in the world. I would like to meet scientists and uh, people who care about the environment all over in the world. And so with this car that we see and that we will see uh, during the different places uh, of, the, of the travel, but to take the, to tell us uh, some uh, technical uh, data of this car. Uh, this car has uh, three wheels and two seats, and uh, it has a trailer which is about five, six meters long. And on the trailer there are solar panels. And um, if uh, both of the batteries are fully charged, I have an autonomy of 300 kilometers. And uh, without the trailer, this car could make about 90 kilometers per hour speed. Uh, you told me that there are a lot of people that help you in uh, this project. Uh, you can, you can uh, set whom? And these are all uh, engineers and people from central Switzerland who help me, but uh, there are also people from South Africa, engineers sometimes who come here to help me. Uh, because I'm not an engineer, but those people know what they're doing, and uh, so I'm very glad I get some help from them. And also uh, Mesdea, for example, with Zebra Batteries and uh, other Swiss companies. Of course, there are many Swiss companies also who support me. Uh, first of all, this is Mesdea from uh, Stabio in Ticino, who gave me the battery. And then uh, I've got the help from the Apprentice Training Center of Schindler, the company which is building the elevators. And then there's also, um, so my main sponsor is Q-Cells from Germany. They are the world's uh, second largest manufacturer of solar cells. And then uh, I have many, many uh, Swiss uh, companies which also support me, like, for example, my home base. This is the Techno Park in Lucerne. Then I get the battery from Zebra in uh, Ticino. And uh, Wave Communication is helping me. I'm also supported by Cunion Nagel, who are responsible for the shipping. And then Swisscom, of course, they're going to um, help me for uh, transmitting the data from every corner in the world. That's my telecommunication partner. And then also Schindler, the, uh, the elevator company's training center, those apprentices, they helped me, or they have done the major job to build the car. You are from Lutzen. I am from Lutzen, yeah. And I remember that uh, the last uh, Swiss Tour de Sol has been made in Luzern, between Luzern and Adelboden in 1993. Yeah, that's right. That's, uh, that's, I remember that one, yeah. Has been there. You were there? Yeah. Yeah, I was a child. I, I think I had to go to school at that day. <laughs> But uh, when you're beginning to uh, have interest in about uh, uh, ecological problems and mobility problems, traffic, global warming and such things? I started with this, uh, being interested in this in 1986, when I was uh, 15 or 14 years old. Uh, my teacher told me a lot about global warming, and I know that um, the global warming is a big issue. It is going to be a problem, and that was clear in 1986, and we already had solar-powered cars in Switzerland, and I was sure when I'm going to be 30, everybody is going to use solar-powered cars and no more petrol cars. And um, now we are more realistic, and uh, I'm not 30 now, I'm 35, but there is not even one solar car around in Switzerland now. Um, so I think it is time for me to build a solar car myself, and with newest technology, with best technology, and drive it around the world. You told before that uh, you receive uh, help also from, not only from Swiss, but also from some engineers from South Africa, for example. It means that your uh, project uh, became a global project. Oh, yeah, it's a very global project now. You know, um, I, I got the help of friends of mine from the United States, from Canada, also from South Africa. But then also my main sponsor now is Q-Cells, which is the um, <clears throat> second largest solar cell manufacturer in the world, and they are from Germany. So I can say many people are going to escort this trip as well, and those people, many of them, or most of them, are going to be German people. And the main sponsor is from Germany, also Spiegel Online, which is going to... Um, to tell about this story all the time. Uh, they, they're also from Germany. So I think it's, it's mostly now a Swiss-German cooperation. Eh, eh, sì, è interessante dire, eh, questo lo diciamo ai nostri telespettatori, che io ho conosciuto questo signore tramite Moira Govan from Electric Vehicles United Kingdom, 
quindi tramite l'Inghilterra, che ci ha inviato un'email e ci ha detto di questo progetto, quindi noi siamo venuti a trovarli. I explained to my uh, uh, telespectators that I know you because uh, Maura Govan from the United Kingdom told me about you and I decided to uh, meet you. Yeah, ok, I, I, I know, yeah. Completely global. Yeah, this is all global and uh, this is a very, very virtual um, um, or global internet project, what you can see here, because every day I will write my story in the internet and people all over in the world will be able to follow this trip. Uh, you will be able to read the story in Japanese, in Chinese, in French, in English, and um, in German, of course, and uh, so I think many, many people in the world can follow this trip. Every day I will write something and I hope it's going to be, or I'm sure it's going to be an absolutely fantastic story and a great adventure. Uh, which is your website? www.solartaxi.com Okay, this we say for our telespectator. Mm -hmm. And of course, Electric Motor News will be very happy to have uh, uh, views around the world of mm -hmm. your travel and we will be very happy to, to show what you are doing for, for our planet. Yeah, you can get that. You just stay in contact with me and I can send you from time to time some uh, videotapes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you too. And good luck for your travel. Oh yeah, thank you very much. E noi ringraziamo il signor uh, Louis Palmer e naturalmente gli auguriamo un buon viaggio in bocca al lupo e uh, avremo altri video nel corso di diverse puntate di Electric Motor News.